Hey there, pickle peeps, Melissa here, and today we are going into the easiest ways to set up voice dictation on your computer. Now, if you followed me on yesterday's video where I talked about my three rules for getting better results from AI, number three in there was to be conversational, to use a voice to text tool. And the reason for that is that we speak a lot differently than we type. When we type, we tend to be very, very formulaic, uh, very stringent, and we lose that conversational aspect that makes our writing sound human. So if you want to get better outputs out of your AI, out of your chat GPT, everything you're using, you want to use a speech text. Plus it just, you get a lot more information in there very, very quickly. So that I'm going to show you how I do it. Now I run on a PC and for a while I was using their natural um, the Windows based speech to text thing, and it was working great. And it worked great for like a month. And then all of a sudden, it stopped working great. And it's horrible. I even went back in today, double checking settings on everything to see how it would work out. And it was not worth it. So went in and found this for you guys. This is the voice and speech text dictation uh, extension for Chrome. It's got um, a rating of 4.4 stars out of 1.8 thousand ratings, which was pretty dang good. And I am quite, quite, quite loving it. So yes, this is a Chrome extension. If you're using other than Chrome, sorry, find another video. Um, it's free to use. And I don't see any reason that you need to go beyond the free version. And when you add to Chrome, it's going to take you through a setup series, super duper crazy simple. And I want to show you what it looks like when you use voice in uh, versus like just trying to type stuff into chat. So here we go. Um, I do have it pinned into my extension bar and to activate it once you have it installed, you just make sure that you were just clicked into a chat box like I am right here on GPT. And I'm gonna click this one and you can see it popped up on the side here and you can see it's actually typing in that gray bar in the top um, right along and then it's all gonna drop down into the chat GPT bar in just a minute. Not the best. It didn't see, recognize ChatGPT, it did tattoo PT. So you're going to have to read through these. Like, no matter what, when you do a text to speech, one, it's going to learn how you speak, depends on how you speak, but you definitely want to go in and check. And if you're using a lot of lingo, if you're using a lot of like acronyms and such, it might not pick up on those things. The other thing that makes me laugh is anytime I do a good breath pause like this, it disappears and then it comes back up again and it just kind of makes me laugh and it's very entertaining. So, but you can see all of this text over in here. It would take me forever to type this. And when we're typing, and the big thing is like when we're typing, we're thinking about spelling, we're thinking about grammar and all of these things that like school hammered into our heads. And ugh, so much easier to just kind of like brain dump this way and then go back through and scan to make sure that you don't have glaring like replacement word typo issues going on. When you're finished and you want to exit it, all you say is stop dictation. And see, the little uh, icon thingy over here went away and it's all done. And we have all of that content here in ChatGPT, which I'm not going to run because it's not a prompt. So let me delete this. And I'm going to show you how this works with a prompt that I did not think up ahead of time. So what do we want ChatGPT to do today? Um, oh, okay. Let's go in here. I am truly worried for me. Please give me a recipe for lemonade. I want it to be the... Oh, why isn't it going? Hang on. Clicked in here. Clicked my microphone. There we go. Okay. So please give me a recipe for the best lemonade that I can put into my blog or email. Summer is coming and I want to send out a content-based email that has like an amazing lemonade recipe. What do you got for me? Stop dictation. Ta-da! Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the microphone part in the beginning there. <laughs> All right. So see how like super duper fast that was? I promise you, you start chatting with chat in this way, it's going to be outstanding. Let's see. What does it say? Lemon, sugar, water, hot water, ice cubes, blah, 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 blah. I will give you a pro tip if you want outstanding lemonade that just tastes designer, add a splash of vanilla to it. 
telling you, changes the game. Um, yeah, they don't know that one in this. <laughs> Cold water, hot water, ice cubes. Oh, mint leaves for, for garnish. Okay. Second best way to do lemonade is to do a half and half of lemonade and um, sweet mint tea. Telling you that's a Sultan's Brew. Outstanding. All right, so we're going to be done with drinks here, but hopefully this helps you out. Um, super quick, loving this extension so far, and I just love how fast and easy and everything types right on it. Have a good one, Pickle Peeps, and I'll see you tomorrow.